Hello, and welcome to Woofboxing, the channel all about the Woofbox. So I've had the Woofbox for a couple weeks now, and I absolutely love it. Uh, so much so, in fact, that I've decided to start this channel. This channel is going to be mainly centered around the Woofbox. I'm going to make tips and tricks videos, tutorials, jams, sound design, um, anything about the Woofbox. If there is any Woofbox related content that you would like to see, just let me know in the comments below. Let's do this. All right, so today I wanna to make a track from scratch and I'm gonna kind of walk you through the workflow and explain uh, some of the features that make it so I love this thing so much. When you turn on the Woof box, you will see this screen. This is the song screen. And uh, you can always get back to it by holding the encoder and pressing the song button down here. Uh, song mode is where you'll change the song parameters such as the BPM, the root, the scale, and a bunch of other stuff we're not gonna talk about. Um, but the way it works is each one of these are parameters. You hold down the parameter button and then you turn the encoder uh, to um, get the setting that you want. So if you want to change the root, you turn this and change the root. The Woofbox has 16 tracks, uh, one chord track and 15 other tracks that can be pretty much anything except for a chord track. Uh, they can be paraphonic tracks. We'll talk about that in another video. But for now, let's just concentrate on making the track. So the first thing is to pick an empty song. You change song by holding play and clicking these buttons. Uh, okay, so you can see 11 is empty, so I've just selected it. You can see it says song 11. And we're gonna hold down the encoder and press the kick button. And now we're in the kick track. Even though this says, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Kick, snare, hi-hat, perk. This is kind of a guidance. You can change this to be whatever. So I can have an arp on this and I can have a snare on this one. It doesn't really matter. You also have these other eight tracks at the bottom, um, which can also be anything except for a chord track like track one. All right, so let's audition our kick drums. I'm gonna go with this one, the G, and let's put it in there. Here we go. Okay, cool. I kind of want to ha add this one over here, maybe this, let's see. Okay, so I wanna, I'm gonna live record this one. So to live record, you hold right and press play. There you go. And then this one, I don't want it to play every time. So I'm gonna hold it down so I can get to the step parameters, uh, and you can see this is a C6. I can actually change it to something else, uh, but I'm gonna keep going through the menu. So the next step is velocity. Let's make it a little bit less. Uh, let's turn it to like 80 and then, um, yeah. When is it gonna play? Right now it's playing always. Let's do it. Let's have it play on pattern four. All right. So as you can see, it saves every time you hit play. Uh, I kind of wish it saved on exit, I mean on stop. I think that makes more sense, but um, at least it's always saved. So that is one of my favorite things about the Woofbox is when you pick it up, it's playing exactly what the last thing you played on it, which I like. Um, okay, so next thing, let's go to the, let's put in some hi-hats. Uh, there's the hi-hat track. I don't really like these, so I'm actually gonna go to the perk track. I think the perk track has, um, uh, really cool hi-hats. And so right now it's playing a crash, but how would I change that? How would I access the different patches? Well, let's talk about sequencer pages. Right now you're in the sequencer and you can change page pages by turning the knob. So right now we're in the pattern page. And just like in song mode, these are all parameters. And if you want to change one, you just hold it down and uh, this would be beat division, and then you change the parameter. So we're gonna change, uh, wait, what were we changing? Oh yeah, the patch. So let me go through the pages. You have pattern, global, tons of stuff here, the volume of the track, transposition, uh, the algorithm, etc. Oscillator one, oscillator two, the amplitude envelope, the filter envelope, pitch, pan, and dynamics, and the patch. So now all these are patches, which is kind of cool. Um, so before I, before I select one, let me go back to the sequencer 
And there's a shortcut here, you just press this and boom, it's going all the way back. Let's put these up. Um, and now we have this. If I hit the sequencer button again, it's going to go automatically back to the last page that I was at, which is super cool. So that's going to be the patch page. And now here are all the different patches. Um, and all I have to do to select one is to long press, even when it's playing that works. So. Okay, I like this, but I want the uh, the higher pitch one. So I'm just gonna do this, click that. And now we have this note here. All right, and let's add a little delay to that. I think that's gonna sound nice. So I'm gonna go to the global page. The last row is all the effects sounds. So we have reverb, chorus, delay one and delay two. There you go, that sounds nice. Cool, let's move on. Okay, so now what about, let's do some chords. Chords is very interesting. So I'm gonna go to the chord track by holding down the encoder and pressing chords. And here we go. Um, okay, and the way this works is a little bit different than the other tracks. You have two keyboards, both chord keyboards. And you have your chords here. Okay. And then this is gonna change your chord type. Right now we're in major, as you can see, it's a C major. And then if I hit this, now I'm in minor. And then there's all these other chord types that I don't know because I suck at music theory. So we're gonna go back to major, which was over here. All right, and let's do something. I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna do this one there and this one here. Let's try that. Cool, that sounds good. All right, and now let's make, let's use the ARP track. Um, I'm gonna show you a cool, a cool thing here. So the bass track and the ARP track are going to follow the chord track. So that means that even if I hit this continuously, when the chord changes, it's gonna change as well. Did you see that? And that is awesome. So. Of course, you can turn it off. We're just gonna go to the global screen and hold this one, and that's the chord follow mode. Right now it's on CL5A, which I'm not sure what that means, but uh, I know it sounds good. Um, but you can turn it completely off. There's different kinds of transpositions, but for ARPs, apparently these are the good ones. So I'm gonna bring it back here and we're gonna do something cool. Watch this. Um, I'm gonna play, and I'm just gonna record a bunch of random stuff. go I mean that's not bad for just banging on a keyboard all right cool and now let's do a quick bass line so I'm gonna hop to the bass track uh, same technique hold down the encoder press the bass track oh I'll show you something real quick so now we're playing this but if I want to solo this I just select it again by holding this down and pressing it so now it should oh sorry that's the lead we were doing this one so let's say I'm doing some sound design. Let me go to the filter, for example. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the bass and let's go. Yeah, I think this might be good. I like that. I'm gonna let it record it. Cool. And this one, I wanted to play every two. So I'm gonna do this and we'll go to when, and I'll say one of two. You know what? Actually, I prefer if it plays on the second pattern instead. Did you see how I remembered where I was? I love that. 
That's another one of my favorite features. Okay. Mm. Cool, I'm just jamming right now. So I'm on the lead track and I'm just making stuff up. But, so before we finish, let's add one more part. really like this one let's go to this cool and then I'm gonna go back to this go to the global track turn this up a little bit add some reverb there you go nice and then you know what let's put one here and then we'll give that one a uh, probability we'll do probability of uh, 25%. Very good. All right, cool. And I want to change these chords. I'm going to try something different. So I'm going to go to the chord track. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to change the patch. There you go. Let's do something cool here. So uh, let's do. If you want to know what note this is, you just hold it down. Oh, it's D. Okay. So it's this one. And then what's this one? That's a C. So it's going to be this one. Very chill. All right, well, if you find any of this helpful, please leave a like as it tells me that I'm on the right track and consider subscribing for more Woofbox content. Ciao, ciao.